What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Hope to see you guys later on in the stream. I'm going to be streaming Thursday, Friday and a few hours on Saturday as well. So it's going to be a three day epic adventure with us over on Dream Team. Let's see. Let's hope everything plays well and that the servers are good. But yeah, we're going to be getting on with this Japan Epic Pack review, right? So that's a bit of a tongue twister. But we've got Zico, Okazaki, and Inu. So this guy is going to be kind of a bit of a hidden gem for me out of the pack. I mean, obviously, you'll look at Zico, he goes to 95. But this guy's stats are insane for an AMF, which we'll get into in a second, right? We also do have, of course, over on eFootballDB, we have all these stats updated. So if you are a newcomer, you can check on the link and, uh, you know, you can simulate the players as I'm doing in this, right? So 150 players in this pack, is it worth it, depending on where your squad is, is it worth it take the gamble, take the risk to get these players? I would potentially say no, because of the other players on uh, display that you have this week. You know, we do have like the likes of Bernardo Silva, which is available for free and all those type of players. But I do like a couple of these players as well, right? So we are going to start with Okazaki. This guy is on B form, 90 uh, play style. He's got standard form, which is a small bit of a pity for him because he is a center forward. You want him up more often than not. But it's his pace that is the biggest issue. Because he's small, he's not going to be good in the air, even though he has good heading and acrobatic finishing. And he has first time shot. I think this is probably the weakest of him. Now, yes, he does train up quite decently. If we take a look over at his stats here, you can see here that he goes to 42 levels, which is quite decent. I mean, obviously, when you've got a player that goes 42 levels, you're going to be able to train him up extremely well, right? I mean, we can max out his finishing here at 96 if we wanted to. Um, that's obviously a bit overkill. We're not going to do that. Um, you know, we can get his dribbling up as well quite high. But I think the biggest problem with this guy is the fact that he's just a little bit too slow for that kind of goal poacher play style. You know, if you kind of... Yeah, I mean, any player that has 85 or 86 finishing is going to be good. The dribbling is a bit of a worry for him. You can't really run and gun with this guy. So there's no point in really training that up massively uh, too much because he doesn't have the pace. No matter what way you train this guy up, he's not going to have the pace, right? In the air, yeah, he can go to like nearly 91 with the heading, uh, which is quite decent. But yeah, for me, I think this is the weakest selection of the pack because no matter what you do, you are not going to be able to get his acceleration up high enough. Even though you can get his offensive awareness up, his finishing, his heading, everything into the like mid 80s or the high 80s or 90s um i just think that he's probably one of the weaker options of it uh you know he's not going to be able to compete with even the likes of mbappe or any of those guys that you can get for standard gp so that's just my opinion on him i'm not going to gloss over him but i'm also not going to spend too much time on him if he had other player skills i would probably give him a little bit more credit but yeah i think he's probably one of the weaker players that they have released as an epic right Next up, we have got this guy who plays as an AMF, but he can also play left mid or left wing, right? This guy's got bags and bags of player skills, lads. Everything that you could possibly want on an AMF, right? If you're struggling playing an AMF, okay, if you're playing a 4-3-3 or you're playing a 4-4-2 diamond or 4-5-1 with two AMFs, you definitely need to have double touch and one touch pass, as well as, I would say, true passing. Everything else is kind of um, negotiable or, you know, like you can you can pick and choose what you want and obviously you can give any player in the game now additional skills but i think having double touch or one touch pass to be able to dribble past an opponent or to pass it past an opponent first time quicken everything up even if you play possession or out wide or slow play and you like to hold on to the ball and take dribbles you do need to have that one touch pass to get you out of a bit of difficulty or to activate chances uh, when the ai are in the move in the in the positions and they're doing good moves for you right so this guy does have everything he is down as a creative playmaker i would have preferred him as a whole player um but i definitely do think as well that he is one of these guys that you can just look at and see you know where you're going to play him uh left wing if you are playing him on the left wing you can obviously you know be more of a passer with the pinpoint crossing and the long ranger for shots and all that but i definitely think him as an amf is going to be super 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 overpowered right so as you see here with the levels he doesn't have as many levels um as okazaki but he does have 32 levels right so all we're going to be doing here lads as we do with any amf is really pretty much just getting him to good levels like 85 and 80 there we can also boost up his shooting if we like to shoot to maybe 70 if we want to finish him but i'd ignore that for now dribbling is going to go high we're going to have 90 dribbling if we can get it to that is quite decent we can actually go 88 dribbling with 85 type possession that's more than enough but what really sets this guy apart is his mixture between dribble and passing and dexterity. He's kind of like he's kind of like Messi, right? He has that perfect balance 
going on right because you do have a 93 balance with 90 acceleration and you've also got 88 dribbling we can boost that up if we want i'd give him a slight little advantage here with the stamina even though you're not going to be running a massive amount with him and then of course as i said you can pop nine into finishing but i would genuinely boost up his dribbling just that little fraction not a massive amount boys just a little fraction to get that ball control and dribbling to the 90s you now have 90 90 90 and 93 for the four main stats uh, that you need as lo as well as one touch pass long range shooting true passing and of course outside curler with long range drive and double touch insane and it depends on your play style you can either decide to boost him up with more acceleration to have better balance because he is quite a sharp player so similar to romario you need to have that balance as high as possible and that's probably where i would go with him i would max him out at 95 balance um to get that offensive awareness of 75 and then i would probably pop the rest either into um passing which i'd have there and then i'd probably pop i'd actually probably leave this at 75 and put one more into passing less i think that's probably the ultimate version i would go for with him there an insane card and one that i would definitely like to use kind of reminds me of simmons who i had as an mvp when he was up on form so this guy is going to be very very interesting and i think he'll make a lot of squads and then last but not least we do have zico now zico starts off at level 80 but he goes to a whopping 95 and depending on your play style you can get that even higher right so i think when you're looking at zico as a classic number 10 you do need to play him a slightly different way than you're probably used to playing amfs right even creative playmakers and hole players you do need to train him in a slightly different way because he's not going to have that speed or acceleration right so we did see a second ago uh, with this AMF, right, and, you know, that this guy is going to be all about getting the ball, I mean, very zippy, you know, getting the ball either passing, dribbling, or bursting away with acceleration. Whereas with Zico, Zico is going to be all about kind of slow, measured, you know, pacing and passing. Like he's not going to be rocketing around the pitch um, and chasing everything. He's just going to kind of sit in the pocket, kind of like Raquel, Raquel Me back in the day, kind of like Ronaldinho without the pace. Just going to be picking little, uh, pockets of space to exploit, right? He does have a lot of good player skills, as you can see there. He's also got chip shot control, dip and shot, acrobatic finishing. But I like the fact that he's got one touch pass, heel trick, and outside curler, as well as true passing. He doesn't have double touch. That is, again, why I'm saying to you, you will not be dribbling that much with this guy, which means we don't need to boost up his dribbling. Now, I have the legend version of Zico, so I probably won't spin for him. And you can see with this legend version of Zico here and the big time, he did have way better acceleration. That was because he was a bit younger. This card is when he was 40. So that is speed and acceleration. It happens as all lads. As you get a bit older, that little pace goes. You know, the mind wants to do it, but the body can't. So Zico kind of falls into that trap where this card is going to be a way, 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 way better card. Even though you've only got 15 levels to go or 7 levels to go. The big time card here that was released has 25 levels to go and you could get him into the 90s with acceleration but don't sleep on this card lads because he's got 43 levels to go right if you wanted to get that back you know that pace back you could actually get it to 90 you know or 84 or 88 if you wanted to do that um because you don't need to worry too much about the pace with this card i would probably max this out we have a similar position here with 90 offensive awareness, 85 acceleration, right? Dribbling, I would probably pop up to there, to 90. And then passing is the rest with 87. That's one option you could go with him. I think that's probably overkill with the acceleration. I mean, if you even take this back down to 83 acceleration, you can pop a few more onto, accelerate, or onto speed there to get 70 stamina and 68 speed. You still have 90 possession. You still have 92 ball control. You have 93 balance. Obviously, we're going to be training him up in a slightly different way if we want to max out his overall. But we will do a training guide on him. I think the biggest thing is the acceleration. I would probably, you know, if you're going to get the best out of this card, I would probably keep the acceleration at 80, which is average for that position, but it's more than what you need. It's more than what you need for an AMF, depending on how you play him. Um, you know, and the biggest thing about Zico that you don't, you don't really yeah don't sleep on is his finishing because he's able to like get into little pockets of space and stuff he's an exceptional finisher of the ball um and i think that's something that you could look at if you were trying to get him to the highest level number one and if you were also trying to kind of boost him up um with the free kicks the pass and the dribbling and the pace to have him more of a balanced player so that is it for me lads with the japan epics we will be back soon we will be streaming soon and uh, i hope you guys enjoy the videos for me they're probably a pass because of the other players i have in my squad they probably wouldn't make it but if you missed the arsenal pack make sure and check that out as well i'll be back soon peace